Thanks for checking out another Lumion 12 feature video. And I gotta say, I feel like I've been snubbed by Lumion. So I'm gonna drop in this car. Now, by default, the license plate isn't on there, but I just threw one on there. Play around with it. I have a lot of questions. Why did Australia make the cut and Canada didn't? I don't know sad maybe it's the user base maybe it's a conspiracy i don't know but it's no big deal because i can just click on an australian plate and then i'll click on queensland and then i'll put that on and then i'll just change it to a canadian okay well honestly it's still not that big of a deal because i'll just go uh, and I'll just change the numbers to something that, you know, I think just looks a little more uh, like what I'm looking for. So we'll hit OK. And then I'll just uh, change the numbers. Hmm. So I feel like it's kind of cool, but at the same time, pretty much have to be from these countries for this to work because I all this the things that clients ask us to change sometimes it's there are things that are very large in the project that the clients don't care about but then something that is very small and out of the way they may really focus on this to me seems like even if it kind of adds more to the render you should probably not add them in just because if you're doing this for a client, it seems like one more thing that they're just going to focus in on and be, you know, strangely uh, particular about how it looks. It's, you know, if you put it in so that I could change the photo and make it like a Nova Scotia license plate or something or Canada one, I guess that doesn't really exist, but let's pretend it's a Canadian one. Then, you know, you, this would have more use. I guess I'll give them points for trying, but I feel like as a rule of thumb, don't like there should never be this kind of feature that you can't automatically customize. This is useless to me. I can't do anything with this. And even if there was a Canadian one without the ability to change the actual image, it really does not have much value to me because I don't actually have control over it. So then you have to go and basically change all this. I feel like this really only applies to these countries. And even then, I probably wouldn't bother using them just because clients will probably be like, Oh, can we make this car have, uh, you know, this particular license plate or, you know, maybe this license plate doesn't look as realistic. It's, it just seems like something that it's not going to be the focus, but a client may ask you to make a change and you don't want to have to do that. So that's my personal opinion on that. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. It's really not a long one. You know, I, I do try and cover all of these uh, changes, but I, I personally don't really get this one. Uh, if you're not going to try and put in far more countries than that, I probably wouldn't even bother or just make it so the license plate is a blank white sheet, basically, that we can change. I really don't like when all of it comes baked in. It's the same thing with the flags, even though you can put your own one in there. Um, I find that they're just, it's it's kind of, I don't know, I feel like there's just be a blank flag that everyone knows, like this is the blank flag to use. A lot of people don't even know that you actually can change the image texture on a flag. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and also like the video. For now though, I'm going to end the video. I'll see you in the next one. And I hope you keep joining me for some more Lumion 12 features. Have a good one, everybody.